your father's place at my side. And there was, there was an actor already cast as the emperor, and uh, unfortunately, he couldn't take the contact lenses, which were fairly fierce. Mm. So they were looking for someone else. And Mary Selway, for it was she, great casting director, had suggested to George and Richard Marquand, the directors you know, uh, that maybe they should see me. Indeed you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. <laughs> Let me guess. You like Star Wars. <laughs> We have several battalions stationed on the moon. You will destroy it! Yes, Your Highness. And the play ends on a note of, it would seem, despair. Only two characters in the play are left alive, with the task, perhaps, of rebuilding a society that, that, has, that has collapsed. They were no longer. I went in, so Richard. He said, we're doing the science fiction film in about four months. Would you be interested in playing the part of an alien? You speak a very funny language. And I said, uh, I don't know if I am really. But he kind of worked on me. He actually gave me the offer on there and then. Peter, all craft will begin the jump to hyperspace on my mark. May the force be with us. He's probably best known for the line, we have acquired a small imperial shuttle. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. So what happens when you have a celebration? What happens in your house? Somebody has to make the food. <laughs> Mon Martha was off oh, with a leaning over the sink, scraping the potatoes, you know, doing all those jobs. She had her. I believe Dee Williams came up and said, hey girl, you're getting cold there. I got the privilege to appear in Return of the Jedi, but still remained a fan. But little did I know at that point in my life, it would become part of my life and career in such a huge way.